What is going on, True Believers, Ben Nation, BitBoy fans? Here we are again. Let's summarize here. A couple days ago, uh, Ben deleted his Twitter account or suspended his Twitter, whatever you do. And so I called him and asked him why. He said, well, you know, under the advice of my attorney, I was told to do this for right now with an expectation that something bold would be happening in the next couple of days. Then uh, Ben was on his way to Consensus 2024. And that leads us to today where he has reopened his Twitter account. I assume against the advice of his attorney. I don't know, you know, I don't know the inner workings here, but uh, I think we may have a problem. He's got a loitering thing here that he has been, um, uh, the, the consensus 2024 filed a case against him for <laughs> loitering. I really don't know what it is. According to the video that we have, this video right here with uh, Jamie Diamond in the back, uh, case number 24-1501222 uh, is the case. Uh, I haven't found it yet. I've done very little looking, but I haven't found it yet uh, to find out exactly what it was that was going on. I don't really care, by the way. Matter of fact, let's hit that like button while we're at it because that's what we're supposed to do. Hit the goddamn like button. Hit that like button for me as well. So the video, and it's about eight minutes long. You can go through it and you can check it out. Uh, ben Cassie walking around um, the, the, the neighborhood in Austin, uh, you know, checking stuff out. But, you know, the end result here is what did he say? He was kicked out because, or he was prevented from uh, going in because of uh, China, CCCP. I, I don't know what that means. I, I you know, uh, I know he's been putting out some videos on inner workings. I know Kathy Woods was at Consensus. He started talking about her for a little while. Um, and that uh, Consensus, which is run by Coindesk, and he's been talking bad about Coindesk. They've uh, banned him from ever showing up at Consensus again. Um, ironically, uh, the place in Texas where they talk about freedom, the people, you know, like the Discover Cryptos and, and all of those guys that are, you know, fake. They're, they're you know, fake dirtbags. You know what I'm talking about. The people who talk about freedom, the people who talk about liberty, that ban somebody from going into something. See, I don't think they're about that. I think they're just about, you know, power, control, whatever. They want their own values uh, instilled in people, which is a weird sort of thing. But I digress. So Ben is aggressively removed from uh, consensus and told that he is uh, now lifetime banned because he's exposing something about crypto and stuff like that, right? So that leads us to over here where he's joking about on his uh, Twitter account. I don't know what the hell is happening with my Twitter account here, but um, so I think we may have a problem. <laughs> he's, you know, bringing this up, um, talking about the lawyering. And then that leads us to this. And where are we at? Bencoin continues to dump. Now, look, there's a couple of us who have uh, unquestioningly uh, trusted in Ben. Myself, believes crypto. Uh, Nick, the crypto keeper, Sam, crypto lifer, uh, Justin J Chains, uh, AJ, AJ writes crypto, Cassius Cuvee. Uh, you know, none of us have turned our backs. None of us are, are you know, what you would call backstabbing low life dirt bags. We don't steal from people. Uh, we don't try to justify it. Um, you know, we don't bang our secretaries um, for while their husbands are at home, you know, or working, whatever he was doing. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know. We don't do that kind of stuff. We're not Civil War veterans, uh, reenactors, whatever you call it. Um, we trust that this guy is looking out for the best interest of crypto. Now, of course, everything that he does has affected Bencoin. So we're going to talk about Bencoin for a second. When I first uh, put up Bencoin on my tracking list right here, you can see it uh, in this corner. You can't really see it too well. I'll zoom in. Uh, but it's four zeros, 1889. That was when the new Ben coin was launched. Uh, current price is now five zeros, 4,039, which means that anybody who had $5,000 at that time has $1,250 at that time. Um, you know, a lot of this is self-inflicted because Ben's going through this issue. And every time he has these events or episodes, whatever you, you would call it, uh, when he gets angry about uh, the way you know, first of all, uh, he's been backstabbed by the people that he trusted, the dirtbags, the lowlife, the losers, the scumbags. Here's what happened. I think the best way for me to describe this is, imagine you owned a crypto channel, and let's call your crypto channel Keebler, and you hire a tiny little elf to run your Keebler factory, where you make crypto videos every day that just come off to, to all the people, they taste as good as cookies. Mmm, yum. But you hire an elf, right? 
Well, that elf is probably a cookie addict. I mean, he's certainly a cheat on uh, a cheat with a secretary and, you know, bang a married girl's He's, he's an addict for that. I mean, we know that, right? But just imagine you hire this tiny little elf, a tiny little elf that I would be willing to fight along with one of his best buddies in an octagon, two on one, because the real daddy, sorry, Rodney, ain't scared. You know what I mean? So you hire a Keebler elf and that Keebler elf tries to steal your cookie company because that Keebler elf is addicted to cookies. Now, imagine that that cookie elf is just a stuttering dimwit with a couple of extra chromosomes, I would assume, and a tiny, tiny little body, right? Really weird, especially for a grown man to have a Keebler elf stealing his cookie factory from him. And I hope that that analogy helps to serve a little bit about this tiny, tiny, little bitty guy. Little bitty, rice, you know, rice level, you know. So anyway, a Keebler elf tries to steal your company from you, uh, for, uh, your, your cookie company from you, um, and has a Civil War veteran as the head of content. Wild stuff. Real wild stuff. And then you have who you thought were your friends and stuff like that. And it turns out they're just a bunch of job-hungry mongrels who didn't never really cared about it. They just, ha, 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 you're my friend, you're my friend, of course you're my friend. You know, but they uh, didn't care about you when you were gone. They didn't, you know, uh, he didn't get a chance to walk in and go, who's going with me? Who's, you know, and doing all that kind of stuff from that stupid movie. But <clears throat> again, I digress. The point is all of this affects Ben Coin Price. So the best I can say for you on Ben Coin Price is this right here. This kind of move has started to happen. This will be invalidated if there's still some dumping. I'll be honest with you there. Um, you know, I don't look at my I don't look at my Ben Coin bag at this point because uh, as soon as I see, oh, Ben's going through something, I like I know some people are just gonna say, well, that's enough for me because they don't have faith, right? Me, on the other hand, I have total faith. I, I believe that Ben's gonna be vindicated, validated, and everything good possibly is gonna happen for Ben as we get into this bull run. Um, and worst case scenario, um, he's still got more engagement than his old channel on his own videos while they're still trying to figure out how do we pay all these guys all this money when we're not generating any, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's wild, wild. But again, I digress. I can't help but uh, continue like digressing. Anyway, so that leads us to right here. Guys, I hope that the Ben coin price starts to pump and starts a reversal. As you can see right here, it, it can go lower and it might go lower, but it seems like that last dip was a move in the right direction. Now, I said that before. I want, I want to take you back. I, I said that, and I said, you know, this right here looks like we're finally at the end of it. Back in March, we were not. There was still more um, drama to be had, if you will. Remember, I made some videos about him. Uh, so, you know, that leads us to where we are right now, and, you know, what do we do right now? So the best thing that I can tell you is that Ben is fine. Ben is struggling because there are people that stole his company from him that he's trying to get back. There are um, bad actors who continue to attack him. No matter what he types, posts, or does, there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, low-rent humanoids, subhumans, whatever you call them, uh, crying about everything that he does. Um, uh, you know, um, the, the, the Bible teaches us to turn, turn the other cheek and to be better, right? What do they do? The opposite of that. They don't turn the other cheek. They don't be better. Uh, they attack him. They vilify him. They talk about him. They judge. And uh, so, you know, these are the people. By the way, these are the people that call themselves Christian. They're garbage people. They're garbage people and should be acknowledged as that and treated as such. <clears throat> I don't judge the man. I, I don't I don't follow the same path. Uh, I, I'm told that I walk that left-hand path, whatever that means. Uh, but... I, I, the guy with that left-hand path thing that, that, that people talk about, I'm the one that has this guy's back all the time. I'm the guy that no matter what happens here, I defend him. I'm the guy that says, you know what? It's going to be all right. Nick, Sam, Justin, AJ, Cassius, all of us, uh, John Vibes, you know, we've all got his back. And we believe it, that, that times are going to be turning for Ben. And they have been turning, by the way. I mean, you know. Uh, he gets a lot of engagement on Twitter. He gets a lot of engagement on uh, YouTube. He gets more than his previous channel. Um, no matter what you think, and you see in this moment, he's winning. So with that being the case, 
what do you think happens next, right? Um, well, it is my opinion that Ben probably going to dip a little bit more. Ben coin probably going to come down a little bit more. However, I do not have information on it, but and I don't have it on good authority, but I think I think that we're about to see some announcements for Ben coin that are going to make a big difference. I think that we're going to see some announcements from Ben that are going to make a big difference. And I think that we're going to look back at these moments and we're going to say, you know, this is the question of whether or not you were worthy of being whoever you are, whatever it is you do. Were you worthy at that time? And the answer to that for you might be no. For me, it might be no. But here's the one thing that I'm going to say. Until this is over and until this is done, I'm going to have Ben's back because I believe in the man. I believe that he represents what is right in crypto, what is good in crypto. And that does not mean that he's infallible and doesn't make mistakes. I assure you, my wallet shows me the mistakes. But that's not a testament of the man or his character. That's a testament of the actions of a man who's been attacked by the people that he calls his best friends. And remember, never make friends with a Keebler elf because they're tiny little people. They're not even full-grown men. Even when they're old enough, they're not full-grown men. They're little people. Little people. And never trust a Civil War veteran, especially not a Civil War veteran reenactor. And if somebody looks at a Civil War, and if they're not, if they're not, and they say, hey, you know that Civil War look? <laughs> That's the play, baby. That's the play. The hair? Yeah. A big musket in my hand? Oh, <laughs> chicks are going to dig that. You know what I mean? When you get somebody like that, be afraid. Be very afraid. Don't be afraid. I mean, they're not going to beat you up. You know, they might kiss you. Uh, they might pat you on the butt and say, thank you, daddy. Or whatever it is that they, they say in the Civil War reenactors conventions or whatever. You know, but again, I digress. I'm going to have Ben's back for this entire time. Really, I'm just having fun with this moment right now. Um, but to summarize, <laughs> Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, has been kicked out of Consensus 2024. And it doesn't matter. The price action on Ben is falling a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. I think that it's curving around and it's going to continue an upward trajectory as they continue to make some announcements and bring some new stuff up, but I don't know for sure. Um, but I, I, I do remain positive that I think good things are coming for both Ben Coin and for uh, the people who follow Ben. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below because... You know, this stuff gets wild sometimes. Uh, it gets frustrating. I know. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I just want to say that I, I assure you, um, even if you're a tiny little Keebler elf, even if you're a tiny little Keebler elf that bangs married secretaries because you can't find girls um, otherwise, I, I guess, even if you're that tiny little Keebler elf, it gets better. It, it will get better. You put some lift shoes on. And you climbing up on the curves all by yourself one day. You know what I mean? Um, and if any Keebler elves want to get into that karate combat arena, I'll take two of you at the same time. George, hook it up. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're still Team Ben, shout out to you. If you hate Ben Armstrong because for whatever stupid reason, I, I, I mean, whatever, dude, uh, you know, hit the like button or dislike button one way or another. I don't care. Um, and... If you had his back all this time, thank you. If you, uh, if this is too much for you, then you're a weak investor anyway. Um, because some people are ride or die and some people are not. I'm going to be ride or die with Ben Armstrong. That's what I'm going to do. What you do, that's up to you. Uh, but you know what? In the comment section, let me know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Pepe just hit an all-time high. And to celebrate, Cryptonomy.Finance is giving away Pepe. $10 up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. Anybody who signs up today and follows the instructions that I'm about to give you will qualify for Pepe. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X. Initiate a deposit at cryptonomy.finance. Start staking or join the launch pool. We'll check my res results pretty soon. Uh, and then like and retweet, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. It's open worldwide. So get in while you can right now. This Pepway giveaway is going to be a big one. Now,
What am I looking like over here? Well, let's start with this one. Uh, I just earned 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. Remember, we staked this back in November of last year. Uh, also, we staked another one in January for uh, a two month, a three month period. We locked it in. We got 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800. We made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. I took the longer term for the rest of these, and you can see that the accrued interest uh, expected so far. Now, I've earned in rewards, as you can see right here, about $2,400, but it's going to be $4,800 over the next couple of months. And remember, I've continued to stake and continue to stake and continue to stake because I'm looking uh, to get this through the bull run. And when the bull run comes, then... I say that I've earned this in dollars. It's not really even in dollars. It's in the crypto right now. Uh, and then hopefully that crypto price goes up and then you see it happening right there. But the big one, the big one is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12X on Theta Knots, uh, Verita, VDA, 1.37, Engines of Fury, 4X, Lifeform, 4.8X. Going down this list, you can see a lot of different launches, a lot of different big moves. TARS Protocol, 13X. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So if you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at cryptonomy.finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today.